NBC 10 Response has been uncovering issues with mail theft for more than two years, but this next story adds a new twist to the crimes. A viewer reached out to us after having one of her checks stolen in cash for thousands of dollars more than she had written it for. And then when her bank didn't reimburse her, she came to NBC 10 Response. It was just another check for Lindsay Alleman. So I owed Delaware, the state of Delaware, some money from when I lived there. She wrote it last June to the Delaware Division of Revenue for $490. So I go to the post office um, to send it out. I drop it off there. Days later, thousands of dollars would be stolen from her checking account. And then I check my bank account and I'm missing $7,000. And I click on the check and in my mobile um, banking app, and it's completely doctored to totally something different. The payee was still the same, Delaware Division of Revenue. The amount had been totally changed, and I actually had some personal information on the card um, or on the check, my Social Security number and my birthday and a contact uh, number as well and all of that was gone and there had been some doctored account number written on there and um, a tax uh, voucher under who, what it was for. Lindsay assumed her check had been stolen out of the mail. She went to her bank, Wells Fargo, to report it and hoping she would be reimbursed. That process included filling out this form and going back to a branch location to have it notarized by a notary at the bank. I made an appointment with their notary. I went through everything with him, um, and then he was like, I will take this paperwork and I will send it to the claims department from here. Weeks later, she got a letter from the bank saying they were closing the claim because they didn't get her paperwork. I went back there and I sent the paperwork again, and they finally got it. But that whole turnaround was about a month. That was in July. Lindsay says she called Wells Fargo in August and was told her claim was in process. Same thing when she called in October. In December... That person that I spoke to on the phone told me that what they can see in the system is that they sent a demand letter uh, to Citadel for the funds and that my money should be in my account by the end of the week. When that didn't happen, she says she called again. I, like, broke down and cried to the guy I talked to on this on that day. She finally decided to call NBC 10 Responds. We reached out to Wells Fargo. Days after we did, Lindsay says she got a call from a bank representative telling her the funds had been returned to her account. I honestly, like, I had, like, tears of joy. I was so excited. Plus, Wells Fargo added a customer service voucher of $200. We asked if the bank could explain the six months it took to return the funds. They would only say, safeguarding our customers' assets is our top priority. We have robust security protocols and measures in place, which include advanced detection systems to identify potential instances of check fraud and scams. We continue investing in technology and training to stay ahead of industry-wide threats such as check fraud. We will add Lindsay's $7,490 to our counter. To date, NBC10 Response has recovered more than $2.2 million in money, goods, and services for our viewers. We also reached out to Citadel. That's the bank that cashed the forged check. Citadel would only say we were not aware of the consumer's issue and had not received any correspondence regarding the matter from Wells Fargo. This check was deposited electronically through the normal course of business utilizing an automated process. And that got us to wondering about the security measures in place or not in place for electronic deposits. If you use mobile deposits, you'll want to see what we learned coming up on NBC 10 News at 5. Fred?